Hi guys, Aceface here, back with another video for you, and this is my first update on Cryptex Painting Challenge for May. Um, and in the last video you would have seen me, I've just put together my uh, Malifaux crew, these hired swords, the Victorious, um, and I'll just let you know what I've uh, done now. So, um, going in the sort of the full spirit um, and theme of the competition, I've done something that I never do, and that's I've primed these guys in white. Um, and white, for me, is quite scary, because priming in black I find very forgiving and it helps you with the shell, with the shadows and a lot of the kind of the, the light sourcing and it, it, it just gives you and if you miss a bit with black you kind of get away with it a little bit more. White is a lot less forgiving um, but it does hopefully give you the ability to be technically better and that's what I'm trying to do with this challenge. So I use my airbrush and I prime these guys in white using the uh, Vallejo white primer um, and that gives me quite a nice clean um, uh, finish using the airbrush rather than a spray primer so it means that I don't lose any detail which is one of the other things I wanted to make sure that I was doing so after giving these guys a prime in white I've then tried to work out how I'm going to do the skin because I thought I'd tackle that first because again not the greatest at skin um, being really honest and when I'm doing it on this sort of scale it's quite a challenge so I decided on my kind of formula um, and I'll run it through with you so I will start off with uh, Bugman's Glow I'll water that down with a bit of Vallejo uh, thinner medium, um, quite heavily, so it's almost a, a, almost a glaze. Um, trying to use the uh, the white primer to kind of um, almost give me a bit of a highlight, if you like. Um, so start off with that, and then I will go in with the um, Reichland Flesh shade. Um, after that, I'll go back in with a, uh, a very thin down, almost glaze of the Cadian flesh, uh, flesh tone. Um, and then lastly, for my highlight, I'll use this, which is what? Kiss, Kislev flesh? Kislev flesh? I don't know how, how you mean to say it. Um, anyway, so that will be my final highlight um, for the flesh. So hopefully that will give me quite a nice finish. Please do comment if you think that this is not the greatest way of doing it because it might not be too late for me to change the final bits of this, but, but we'll see. But I think that's the formula I'm going for. Hopefully it will give me quite a nice, um, a nice skin tone. Right, so, so far um, I've just put on the very first watered down Bugman's Glow, so we'll just have a quick look at a few of them and see how they're coming along. Let's see if I can get to focus here. Um, come on, there we go. So you can see I've kind of gone in there and we've quite watered down, you know, I've really made sure that I don't lose any of the detail. I use the the white primer to kind of give me a natural highlight and I've gone in and I've, I've gone over all the skin areas and I've used my reference picture from the box art to make sure that I hit all the areas that I need to. So there's that one, let's have another look at another couple, I won't bore you with every single one but let's have a look at, this is one of the actual Victorias herself, um, there we go. You can see again there, so I've gone in quite scruffy because obviously I will do the clothing last, so I'm not worried if I get a little bit of an overlap on some of the bits, but I've hit all the bits that I needed to. Let's just have a little look at one more. Let's have a look at this one, the other Victoria. Um, let's have a look. There we go, so again, gone in there. And actually, again, I probably shouldn't have assembled them fully because it will make things slightly more challenging, but that's the way I like to roll. So we're going to go with it and see how much trouble I get into. 
Um, so if you look at the, the her sort of midriff by the gun, it's going to be very difficult to do sort of second and third colour coats on there. But I will do my best. Um, so yeah, um, and that's that's kind of how we're doing so far. So there is the box art, so you can see what I will be kind of aiming for. But as I did say in my previous video. I'm going to try and theme these on a bit of a, a Borderlands 2 Miss Moxie style um, because I think the sculpts lend themselves quite nicely to that. Um, let me see whether I can actually give you guys a little bit of a, a an idea of what, um, what the Borderlands 2 girls look a bit like um, and that might give you a bit of an idea of what I'm aiming for if you have no idea what I'm talking about. So hopefully this will work, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you on my iPad um, what sort of what I'm looking for. So, so that's Miss Moxie, um, and as you can see, the kind of style, stance, clothing does suit with the Victorias. So I'm going to go with that. Let's have a little look at whether I've got any of the other work. Um, so there you go. There's Miss Moxie in kind of like a purple outfit, um, and so. My kind of idea, my initial idea was I'd kind of almost do the two Victorias in two different um, Moxie style um, clothing. And then let's have a look what else we've got here. So this is Lilith and she's another Borderlands 2 sort of character. And again the sort of stance, the, um, the proportions fit really nicely with the Victorias. So that's kind of my inspiration and reference for this crew but we'll see how we get on when we start getting to that stage but anyway guys i am wittering again so i will see you in the next video um, please keep watching other people's entry into this challenge and do check out cryptex channel i'll put the link below cheers guys see you later bye, -bye.